excited to present our recommendations to you. My name is Hannah. And I'm Rob. And I'm Molly. And we are a supply chain sustainability consulting group that is providing you, Ferrero, with recommendations for your business moving forward. So Ferrero really has a global presence. Um, over the years, you've expanded your family to be global in five different continents, over 170 countries. Um, and so with that being said, it's important to embrace the values all over the globe of Ferrero. So those values including um, quality, the first, um, so delivering high quality to your customers, high quality products, um, relationships with consumers and the suppliers, and so really valuing that loyalty and integrity. And then the last being um, the uh, social responsibility aspect. So maintaining that social responsibility throughout the supply chain and the business <coughs> as a whole. And so our approach, um, looking at the current situation of Ferrero, we found an opportunity to either expand the family globally and continue that global expansion or embrace the family with, from within and focus on honing in on those brands that we all know and love. Um, and so ultimately, after a thorough analysis, we came to the conclusion that Ferrero should merge with Ultan, which is a um, hazelnut producer company in, uh, located in Turkey. And so they are a company that also embraces that family value, and so we found them to be highly compatible. Um, but we know that with mergers, there comes um, a lot of risk and implications associated with that. And so that's something that we'll address going further into the presentation. Yeah, so before we dive into our recommendations and kind of the nitty gritty of that, um, Bolton is a huge supplier in Turkey of hazelnuts. And Turkey alone um, supplies 75% of all the hazelnuts in the world. And your company procures a quarter of that. And so we've estimated Ferrero's procurement to be around 180,000 tons of hazelnut. Um, and Ferrero is also the largest company, or excuse me, um, customer of Old Time um, Acquire, accounting for 70% of their business. So um, we wanted to take a very high level look at this situation. So we felt that there's kind of three ways your company can go with this. You can either keep doing what you're doing, stay the same. Obviously, Ferrero is a very successful company. It's loved across the globe. Or you can do um, more brand building and marketing, which is a little bit less risky, but also probably less rewarding. And then the highest risk and highest reward would be merging with Bolton. And we felt that this would be the best option, um, despite all of the risk involved, because it is you know, a very um, strategy-based decision and it would affect the entire company, but we feel that it would pay dividends in the future. So we'll let that number sink in just a bit. 2.8 billion is a, a lot of money. Um, and that's kind of a very high level valuation of whole time um, with very high level assumptions, but we kind of wanted to place a price tag on this investment just so we can all understand what we're getting ourselves into. Um, and so despite that large amount of capital investment, we feel that this is the best option for your company to go with. Um, there's a lot of benefits with merging with whole time, first and foremost being greater quality and control throughout the supply chain. Um, control and quality is very important to your company, um, quality being one of your top values. And so by moving upstream or backwards in the supply chain, you guys will have your hands more in the operations, you will have less touch points, you'll be able to um, be closer to the farmers and just have overall greater transparency, transparency and visibility into the supply chain. Um, we also felt that this could help increase the barriers to entry in this market. Hazelnuts are kind of a scarce resource in a very uncertain industry, and so by securing a supplier of hazelnuts, you are also um, potentially securing this resource that could become even more scarce in the future. We also felt that this could be beneficial for both Bolton and you guys by expanding upon your core competencies and learning um, just more strategies and tactics and becoming better at what you both do, and just an overall improved coordination throughout the supply chain, greater communication, greater transparency, um, more efficiency, and just stronger relationships, not only with Ultan, but also with other suppliers, because we know um, Ferrero's demand is too high to get all of the hazelnuts just from Ultan, so we will have to look at external suppliers. And that's also an opportunity because we can align these new suppliers with our core values of corporate social responsibility. And so your company values um, sustainability, transparency, 
And so by acquiring Old Town, we will be able to help them um, become more compliant, more transparent, um, and just overall a better company. And we can also help our other external suppliers with that as well. So like we've seen in the graph before, with any reward, there's high risk. So these are the five categories that we thought would be the, of highest risk. The lack of flexibility. Owning a lot of the supply chain ties up a lot of your assets. So it's hard to uh, implement new technology, new processes. It's going to be less flexible along these lines. $2.8 billion is a large initial investment. Uh, but based on our analysis and our research, we think this is a strategic long-term uh, plan for Ferrero and Old Time Group in the future uh, for future innovation future, and just kind of expanding their market. And another thing is the lack of diversification. So by if Ferrero merges with Old Time, it's kind of putting all their eggs in one basket. But uh, especially when considering weather risks, like in any agriculture um, industry, weather is a big factor that affects any industry and something that we can't control. Um, but like Anna said, we do have other suppliers, but there are minor suppliers, so Old Town is going to be our major supplier. And as we all know, the political climate around this region of the world is not as stable in current days, so if you want to know more about that, you can reference that in the appendix. So let's kind of take a step back and see the current process of um, the um, hazelnut industry and then what our implementation will do. So for now, it starts with the farmer, then Old Town owns the collector to the exporter for the part, and then there's a middleman, the trader, and then it comes to Ferrero. With our implementation and recommendations, we are consolidating the supply chain, reducing the touches, and so taking that middleman out, the trader, so it, it reduces the markups, the prices, and it increases the uh, relationship along the uh, supply chain, transparency, and overall just overall control, like Anna was saying before, some of the benefits. And since we do want to be socially responsible, we can have that relationship with the farmers because we're such a big part of their uh, revenue. We can uh, negotiate with them and have close relationships to implement a more socially responsible agriculture in our business. Talking about the costs, the benefits, the risks is all well and good, but when it comes down to it, we as consultants really wanted to boil success of a company taking a big change, a big leap of faith, down to one thing, and we believe that that's the why. Why is uh, why would Old Time accept to go into this merger? <coughs> why would Ferrero even want to go into this merger? What's the overall benefit? How are we going to ensure that this is successful um, as a company? So with that being said, learning by doing. That is a huge aspect of your core values. Uh, entrepreneurship is on the list of core values that you guys have and learning by doing essentially means by really looking into the supply chain and understanding how to make it sustainable. The only way you guys will be able to do that is to understand the product, understand how it's being sourced, how where it's coming from, how it's being made understanding the consumers, understanding each aspect and part of the supply chain, and learning by doing, by going into this merger, is going to allow you to do that and truly create an optimal situation for your supply chain. <coughs> and additionally, with all of that being said as well, um, by doing this, we have a really set implementation plan that we feel is it going to be a really good next step for you guys in ensuring that this is also successful and tying back into your values. With any merger, there's a pretty set structure. It obviously varies by industry, by country, um, but you'll start out with pre-merger plans. So that will be a lot of meetings with any stakeholders that may have um, a stake in this change. Anyone that may be affected by it poorly or positively just making sure that everyone's really aware of the changes that are going to happen, and then creating a strategic plan. You don't want to go into this blind. You want to know what you're getting into, how much it's going to cost, what the changes are going to look like, if there are even any big changes. And then moving from there, you'll go into the uh, merger execution. So that is very similar to any merger. You'll have the due diligence, uh, working with a lot of the regulatory um, issues and stipulations, making sure that you guys will comply as a company within the countries you'll be working in. Um, you'll also look at the structure, the valuation, and that's a cycle that takes some time, 
uh, which is why we estimated it between four to six months. But beyond that, from there, once Ultan and Ferrero have come to an agreement, they can move forward with launching this plan to uh, merge their two companies. And so that launch, you know, it's never gonna be perfect. It all has its bumps. And thankfully, that's why we would have a strategic plan and make sure that we have management really honing in on uh, making sure that this rolls out smoothly and having a long-term plan for ensuring that this is a successful merger. And one of the ways we were looking at it also tied back to values. Ultan is a very family-based company and Ferrero is also a very family-based company. So in order to make this smooth, we want to look at it like a family. Anytime someone gets added to the family or something, we've all seen it with little sisters, little brothers, a dog, maybe even a fish. It takes some tender love and care. You have to nurture it, feed it, invest time into it in order for that to come to fruition in a way that's really going to benefit the company. And that's why we feel that Ferrero, by merging with Ultan, will expand the family and will truly have optimal benefits down the line. Thank you so much. So 